and possibly jarring research tonight on climate change and sea level rise. It's laying out a new timeline for when several major world cities, Miami included, could be underwater. CBS Force Ty Russell live in Miami tonight with the details and pretty grim, Ty. It really is, Elliot, and the biggest threat tonight from the rising sea level is flooding, especially during storms as the hurricane season is approaching. And today I was able to talk to the chief resilience officer for the city of Miami, and she told me exactly what we should be doing right now to eventually prevent the worst case scenario from happening, which is Miami-Dade and Broward counties disappearing. Since 1992, the sea level has risen three and a half inches in South Florida, and it's not stopping. We've been increasing at a very um, small level every year. Jane Gilbert is the city of Miami's chief resilience officer. It's a role meant to literally keep families above water now, especially as hurricane season approaches and the seas continue to rise. The combination of higher storm surge and more precipitation that can increase the flood risk. Gilbert also looks over hundreds of studies about climate change. One released Monday from international researchers shows a not so bright future by 2100. The worst case scenario, the Keys, Miami-Dade and Broward are mostly underwater with a global temperature rising nine degrees Fahrenheit. It will increase if we do not reduce our emissions. Scientists admit they're not completely sure how fast seas will rise or how much earth will heat up and ice melt. The amount of emissions in the air is also a factor. People should absolutely be concerned. Researchers predict coastal problems in South Florida with a one foot sea level rise. More issues, especially inland at five feet and the worse at 10 feet. Gilbert says slowing down the threat could come by depending on renewable energy. If we can reduce our uh, carbon use in the agricultural sector, we can actually make a huge reduction. In November 2017, voters approved the $400 million Miami Forever bond. Nearly half of that money is meant to tackle sea level rise with improvements to infrastructure, stormwater systems, roads and seawalls. And as for families, Gilbert recommends thinking about hurricane preparedness plans and small protections for your home from flooding, at least over the next few decades. We believe that there are solutions to keep Miami forever, like the Miami Forever Bond says. And we are expecting to learn more next week. On May 30th, several South Florida mayors will come together and release a report called Resilience 305. In that report, it will detail exactly what's being done to battle the rising sea level. We are live in downtown Miami tonight. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.